Hey guys, it's Stacy and I um, uh, wanted to show you guys um, what I've been working on this month. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, so, and of course I have a cold now, so I sound wonderful. Um, first, I wanted to show you um, over on Two Shabby Sisters Studios. Um, I have. I do my own swap, um, but this month it was like a funky, it was an even number, so, um, or it was an odd number, so I kind of didn't participate, but they're doing um, Halloween cigar boxes filled with candy, or if you can't do candy, you know, Halloween goodies, so, unfortunately I didn't do that one this year, or this, <laughs> this year, <sighs> this month, so, um, but I did participate in several other swaps. So the first one is um, a swap, and we were to alter, we were to make. I think I don't know if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Y'all can make fun of me. Um, but I believe they're called Moosey Toosies, and they're basically just little cones that you make out of paper and then you decorate the front of them. So, um, and we were to do three of them. So here's my three, and. As you can see, they spell boo. Um, on the front of them, they have, um, sorry. <laughs> I used the Graphic 45 Happy Hauntings paper, and then um, I made little uh, rosettes, and then my friend Francis gave me these. They're like corrugated letters. Like, it's like corrugated cardboard, but it's like letters, and it's black. Um, and she gave them to me for Halloween a couple years ago or last year or something. Um, and then I just used some tool behind it. And then um, I filled little things of candy. And then they have, then the, there's a treat, like a um, scrap goodness treat in each of them. So they each have candy. And then um, I used the Reese's Cups and the Hershey Kisses. And I just cut. I used my half inch um, recollections punch and just punched pieces of the paper out and stuck them to the bottom of them so that they match. Um, so there's that one and there's that one and then here's this one. So, and as you can see they're all different papers. I think that one's my favorite. It's got all the witch hats on it. So there's those. And then um, I was in another swap. Where's it at? Oh, there they are. <laughs> also on Two Shabby Sisters um, Studio, Two Shabby Sisters Studios dot Ning dot com. Um, and this one was an altered spoon swap. And I had never done one, and it looked like so much fun. So I decided I was going to do it. Um, so here's my spoons, and they're both identical. So there's my spoons, and it's got kind of like a Halloween, like eerie night kind of thing going on. Um, these are I got these spoons from the dollar store. It was two for a dollar. Um, I just took the back of it, or the bottom of the spoon, and I embossed it with embossing powder, and it actually sticks really well. At first I was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but it worked. And then I put a little bit of um, moss in in the spoon part of it. And these images are from Paper Whimsy. So I just fussy cut them out, and it's an owl and a moon. Um, and then I put a little crown on top of the moon. I thought it was cute. And then I took some of my wire, and I put beads and all, all up the handle of it. And then just topped it off with some um, seam binding that I dyed with my Lindy stamp gig. So there's my spoons. Spoon! Um, and then I'm also in a swap with Francis, and we're doing die cuts. I think it's just me and her. I don't think anybody else joined. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just me and her. So, but, um, I must say, <laughs> I did a lot of them, and they take a really long time to do. <laughs> so, um, I used my, I have two. Happy Hauntings and Create a Critter, or no, not Create a Critter, <laughs> uh, Mini Monsters. So I did all Halloween based ones. So um, each one of them 
I only put one of them together so she'd know how to put them together and then the rest of them are all in pieces so um, that's what she said she wanted so we have Dracula we have Frankenstein um, this is like a little Grim Reaper <laughs> look how cute that is and I just used um, my peach some of them I use my peachy keen stamps on for their faces so which I thought was kind of cute um, a little creepy frog or toad, I guess. Um, this is the guy, this is the, um, the Dracula from Mini Monsters. This one is from Happy Hauntings. Um, and then a little dude in a bat costume. A cat. An owl. And he's on a branch, it's just hard to see because there's more pieces behind it. Um, a mummy. Mrs. Frankenstein. And then I think this is the most difficult one. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. I only put one of them together, but it's a skeleton. But what you don't know is, is that all the bones are in individual pieces. So you have to glue each bone on, like, individually. It's great. <laughs> So, and I didn't even realize it was like that until I cut it, and I was like, oh my gosh. So she's going to have a lot of fun putting all those together. So there's those. And then, um, also, um, I'm in another swap over on Your Paper Pantry, um, my friend Stephanie, um, she's the one that hosts it. And it's a wine bottle swap. This well, it's called Wine Lovers, but um, this month it's a wine bottle swap. So, um, and I will do another video here in a minute because I already received mine um, from Linda, and she did an amazing job. So, but here's the one that I did. She said she liked steampunk, so I kind of did steampunk, like crazy steampunk. Not that I can, you can't go wrong with graphic 45 paper. So. There's my bottle, and I, um, the whole bottle is covered in glitter, and then I use, um, I have this Mod Podge spray, it's called Clear Acrylic Sealer by Mod Podge, so I Mod Podged all the glitter on there, and, um, and then I sealed it with this clear, um, sealer, so, I mean, there's a little bit coming off, but it's not, it's not like hordes of glitter, so. Um, and then I made a charm to go around the top of the bottle, and I used all kinds of stuff. A lot of junk jewelry that my friend um, Stephanie had given me. I these are Tim Holtz pieces, and I just added the graphic 45 paper underneath them. Um, this is a Lindy stamp thing, dragonfly, and then a Tim Holtz little thing. Some more junk jewelry. Um, this is a charm I picked up somewhere. Uh, Tim Holtz key. Some junk jewelry just little stuff all over and then on the for the cork I took some of my wire and I ran it like I ran it all the way around and then on the top I put a piece of um, junk jewelry that Stephanie had given me so there's my bottle and I hope she likes it I mean she said she wanted steampunk and you can't really tell but this is this little guy is actually popped up off the I use pop dots to make him more dimensional so there's that guy, and then um, I also made her this really cute um, little, it's just a little book, um, it doesn't have any dividers or anything like that in it, it was just something I put together. Um, I used some corrugated cardboard in the background and then I like sprayed it with several different colors of my Lindy, gang, Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, this is a junk jewel that I've been save I've been hoarding this thing forever, but it works perfect with this. My friend Stephanie gave it to me. Um, some lace and some um, ribbon that I had. Um, I used the Graphic 45 Happy Hauntings in the background. This is um, just a little piece of ephemera that comes in like a pack. My f I can't remember who makes it. I think it's by Making Memories, but they're like... My friend, um, Frances, gives them to me all the time. She knows I love them, so. And then I put some lace around the outside of it. 
and on the inside, um, I took the regular like index cards and I tea dyed them. And then I laid them on top of, um, we have an old like table that's, um, it's like an old wrought iron table and it's like starting to rust because it's been sitting out in the weather for so long and I set them on top of there to dry and hoping that this would happen and it did, it, it stained the, the cards so it looks like they're, see, isn't that cool? I was like, oh my gosh. So, and I have to say, this is the first time I've tea dyed anything. Um, my friend Julie did like a tutorial on it a while back and I hadn't done it yet and it was actually really easy and it was a lot of fun. So, but I just tea dyed the inside and that's one of the little things I'm going to send to her. So, um, and then last but not least, me and my friend Stephanie do a private swap. And this month I decided to choose, like, I was going to let her choose and then I had like an epif a light bulb moment. That's what she calls it. <laughs> so, um, I changed my mind and decided I wanted to do, um, altered light bulbs. So that's what we did. And I think they came out really cute. And it's, I saw her video last night of mine. <laughs> and I almost died because our light bulbs, like we pretty much used almost the same concept on, as far as the Halloween ones. Um, just a little bit different, but um, here's her light bulb. And I put them on canvas because I didn't know how to get them to stand up. So I put them on a canvas. Um, this is chalkboard paint. And then I cut all these little pieces out um, on my Cricut and glittered them. I don't know if you can tell. And I just kind of outlined the Halloween part because it's glittery also. And I wanted it to stand out. Um, and then my light bulbs, I took the middle, I took the insides out of the light bulbs. Um, and I painted the backs of them. And then I kind of, I didn't know how to get the faces on there. So I just like pulled out my um, my peachy keen stamps and I just kind of copied them with and I just painted it on there so that one's kind of like a pumpkin and then I glittered the tops of them I don't know if you can see I glittered the tops of them so I mean if she wanted to like stick flowers or something in here she could um, and then here's the other one the other one's like a little three-eyed monster if it'll focus there you go I just thought it was funny because she did a like pumpkin one that had a face that she painted on it and I, I got so tickled because I was like oh my gosh we were like we almost did the same thing <laughs> so oh and the little spider has a little peachy keen face on it also so those are my swaps um, and oh this is not really a swap well I guess you could say because they're I made a couple cards that I'm including with um, all of my swaps this month so well it's more than a couple, but, um, just, you know, I like to include just a little something extra, so these are the cards that I made, and I got these, um, it's a website, and I don't remember, I don't remember what the girl's name is, but she does, like, a tutorial on how to do them, I think it was, like, a couple years ago, but I just so happened to find them, so, and she gives you, um, how to do them and everything, so, but here they are. Alrighty guys, um, I'll be back in a minute. I have uh, like one or two more videos to do, so talk to you later. Bye!